fans of The Voice are not enjoying season 25 as much as they thought they would. Country stars Dan plus Shay are newcomers to the competition series as coaches this season, working as a duo, and fans aren't too happy with how things are going. Is it me or are Dan and Shay just not in the spirit of Kelly or Blake? One fan said on social media, reminiscing about previous seasons of the show. I hope they don't come back two unlikable people in one chair. Go away Dan and Shay. A second person begged. Worst thing that's ever happened to The Voice. Big mouths. Interfering all the time. Shut up. Overall. Viewers seem disappointed with the season as a whole. With one person tweeting. There's barely any good talent this year on hashtag The Voice. Like. I'm so disappointed. Hashtag The Voice underwhelming bunch this season. Compared to previous years. Sick. Wrote another. The voice battle rounds start Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on NBC. New episodes are also available with subscriptions to Peacock, Fubo, Sling, or Hulu. Team Reba revealed it's the Queen of Country's second season on The Voice, and Reba McIntyre has gathered 10 new contestants to take her to this year's finals. TAE Lewis Josh Sanders Donnie Van Slee Ashley Bryant William Alexander Asher Havon Alyssa Crosby Zia Ray Elisha Jefferson L. Rogers Team Dan plus Shea revealed Season 25 has the first ever coaching duo. Here are the 10 contestants that chose Dan plus Shea's team. Justin and Jeremy Garcia Karen Waldrop Ryan Argust Frank Garcia Madison Curbelo Ducote Talmage Anya True Ryan Coleman AJ Harvey Kyle Schuessler Team Chance revealed the 10 singers on Chance the Rapper's team this season are Donnie Stacy Maddie Jane Nadage Gabriel Goes Kamale Kawaa Corey Curtis RLETTO Serenity Arce Bree Fletcher Val T Web Team Legend revealed the 10 contestants on John Legend's season 25 team are Oklahoma 3 Nathan Chester Jean Taylor Brian Oleson Jackie Romeo Rivers Grayson Maffe Ronnie Wilson Zoe Levert Olivia Rabini The Voice Success Stories Melanie Martinez Melanie Martinez found fame after competing on The Voice. She auditioned with a unique cover of Britney Spears' Toxic, impressing the original four judges. She joined Adam Levine's team and made the top six during her season. Following her time on the show, Melanie went on to release her debut album, Cry Baby, which saw mainstream success and was certified double platinum. The Voice Success Stories Cassidy Pope Cassidy Pope competed on The Voice after seeing moderate success with her pop-punk band Hey Monday. She shifted genres for her audition, signing a pop song by Natalie Imbruglia. After joining Team Blake, Cassidy found her footing as a country star and saw mainstream success after becoming the first female winner on the show. Her debut solo album, Frame by Frame saw success on the country charts and she toured with Tim McGraw and Dirks Bentley. The Voice Success Stories, Ray Lynn. Ray Lynn competed on The Voice Season 2 on Blake Shelton's team. She was eliminated during the quarterfinals, but still saw success as a country music star. Ray Lynn's hit song, God Made Girls peaked at number 7 on the country charts and was certified platinum. Her album Wild Horse also went number 1 on the country charts and in 2019, she signed to Florida Georgia Lines record company. Morgan Wallen's rise to fame after competing on The Voice, Morgan Wallen released his debut EP, Stand Alone, with Panacea Records in 2015. Signed then, he has won awards including a Country Music Association Award two iHeartRadio Music Award, multiple Billboard Music Awards, and two Academy of Country Music Awards. Morgan's song, One Thing at a Time broke the Billboard record for most weeks at number one for a country album. More on alum Morgan Wallen Despite being arguably the biggest star from The Voice, Morgan Wallen did not win the show. After starting on Team Usher, he was stolen by Adam Levine and almost made it to the live shows. Morgan was eliminated during the playoffs, but has gone on to see mainstream success, becoming one a chart-topping country star. Morgan Wallen got his start on The Voice Morgan Wallen started his career by competing on The Voice. He auditioned for season 6 at just 20 years old and impressed Shakira and Usher, both turning their chairs for the young star. Morgan sang Collide, 
originally recorded by Howie Day for his blind audition and picked Usher as his coach. Everything is a sob story fans aren't impressed by the new coaching panel and auditions this season. Dan plus Shea replaced singer Niall Horan this season, joining John Legend and Reba McIntyre, and alum Chance the Rapper. I'm thinking that hashtag The Voice has run its course, one person tweeted. Are there any fun people that audition? Everything is a sob story, and there is far more church talk than anything. Just boring. Same s asterisk asterisk t different half year. I do like me some country music, but I love me some rock and amp. Roll and amp. Even some pop, another viewer commented. Top 5 contestants from The Voice Season 24 The top 5 from last season were Team Horan Huntley Mara Justine Team Legend Lila Ford Team McIntyre Ruby Lee Jackie Rohr The winner's prize revealed the winner of The Voice reportedly leaves with a cash prize of $100,000 and a record deal with Universal Music Group. By comparison, the winner of American Idol reportedly earns $250,000 plus a $1,000 weekly stipend while recording their album. However, winners of The Voice gain the mentorship of a celebrity musician and are sometimes awarded additional incentives from them. Former voice judge Blake Shelton has taken winners from his team on tour with him and has tried to push Universal Music Group to promote their records. Full list of celebrity guest appearances. Concluded the list of celebrity guest coaches on The Voice continues. Dan plus Shea Luis Fonzie Brandy Darren Chris Snoop Dogg Dirks Bentley Jason Aldean Camilla Cabello Kristen Chenoweth Jasmine Sullivan Jimmy Allen Sean Paul Full list of celebrity guest appearances. Part 5 The list of celebrity guest coaches on The Voice continues. Halsey Thomas Rhett Keith Urban Mariah Carey Khalid Kelsey Ballerini Brooks and Amp. Dunn Normani Will I Am Darius Rucker Ella My Dua Lipa Kevin Jonas BB Rexa James Taylor Leon Bridges Kane Brown Full list of celebrity guest appearances. Part 4 More celebrity guest coaches throughout the years on The Voice include Tori Kelly Patty LaBelle Diddy Pink Miley Cyrus Sammy Hagar Joan Jett Bette Midler Tim McGraw Faith Hill Garth Brooks John Legend Celine Dion DJ Khaled Luke Bryan Shania Twain Joe Jonas Billy Ray Cyrus Kelly Roland Rascal Flats Julia Michaels Haley Steinfeld Sean Mendes Trace Adkins Full list of celebrity guest appearances. Part 3 More celebrity guest coaches on The Voice include Stevie Nicks Patrick Stump Gavin Rossdale Christina Aguilera Alicia Keys Diana Ross Little Big Town Colby Calais Ellie Golding Dave Stewart Nix Jonas Mark Ronson Gwen Stefani Megan Trainer, Nate Roos John Fogarty Selena Gomez Missy Elliott Brad Paisley Rihanna Dolly Parton Full list of celebrity guest appearances. Part 2 More celebrity guest coaches include Hilary Scott Joel Madden CeeLo Green Farrell Williams Akoman Jones Taylor Swift Cheryl Crow Ryan Tedder Miguel Ed Sheeran Jerry Slaughter Cher Aloe Black Graham Nash James Valentine Miranda Lambert Busby Jill Scott Natural The Band Petty Gwen Sebastian Chris Martin Full list of celebrity guest appearances Celebrity guest coaches on The Voice throughout the years have included Adam Blackstone Monica Sia Alanis Morissette Robin Thick, Nee Yo Babyface Jewel Lionel Richie Kelly Clarkson Miranda Lambert Mary J. Blige Rob Thomas Jennifer Hudson Bill Withers Patrick Monaghan Billy Joe Armstrong Ron Fair Michael Buble Scott Hendricks Off to a rocky start Fans have been quick to criticize this season of The Voice, slamming the show's new coaching duo. The Voice has put the focus on bantering among judges as opposed to the talent. That has gotten old wrote a viewer on social media. Once was funny with Blake and Adam, no longer is. Less bantering and sad stories and let talent compete. Dan and Shay have ruined the voice for me. I cannot stand listening to them. Never mind watching them, said another enraged fan. Not enjoying Dan plus Shay on the voice, noted a third. The only the voice winner I know is Blake Shelton, stated a fourth. What's to come this season? Part 3 The playoffs are the last step before contestants advance to the live shows. The coaches will have to select three artists from their team to advance to the lives. Once the lives begin, the results are solely based on America as contestants advance based on viewer votes alone. What's to come this season? Part 2. After the battles, the remaining 24 contestants will advance to the knockouts. During the knockouts, Two singers will go against one another again. However, 
They each sing their own songs instead of performing a duet. The coaches are once again tasked with picking a winner from each knockout round. They have one steal each. What's to come this season Season 25 is in full swing as the blind auditions have concluded and the coaches have secured 10 singers on their teams. The teams will now compete in the battle rounds, where each coach has to pair one of their mentees up with another. They will then sing a duet and their coach has to pick only one contestant to stay on the show. Each coach has one steal they can use on another coach's team and a playoff pass, which sends one of their own straight to playoffs. Battles begin Monday The battle rounds begin on Monday's episode of The Voice. Tune in Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time and Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on NBC to see each team's contestants face off. Meet Olivia Rabini contestant Olivia Rabini, 24, is from Delaware. Her parents, including her music producer dad, are there to support Olivia during her blind audition. Olivia is singing Long Long Time by Linda Ronstadt. Before Olivia even sings the chorus, John Legend turns his chair for her. Two young, fans agreed with the coaches that Raina wasn't ready yet for the voice. No chairs for Raina Raina's family gets emotional backstage as it's revealed that no coach turned around for her. When Raina said that she's only 14, Reba immediately responded, No. Can we start over? Reba joked. John Legend tells Raina to keep performing and working on her craft so that she can come back to the voice. Raina Chan is up next teen Raina Chan started singing when she was barely two years old, her dad said. The 14-year-old has performed in front of the president of the Philippines in Washington, D.C. I just need that one coach to believe in me, she said. Just one chair. Raina is singing Hold My Hand by Lady Gaga. L. Rogers sings Wild Horses after opening about her autism diagnosis. L. Rogers is now singing Wild Horses. Come on, Reba. Carson screamed from off stage with the singer's wife. At the very last second, Reba turned for L. Rogers after she hit a high note. I was just blown away with your vocal and I was like, holy crap, I gotta turn around for this person. Reba said, you're a powerhouse, she added. Kyle Schuessler almost gets four chairs John Legend, Dan plus Shay, and Reba McIntyre all turn their chairs for Kyle Schuessler after his Coldplay cover. Kyle is 19 years old from Huntington Beach, California. Think of this as a four-chair turn, Chance said. I would have turned for you if I had any slots left. Joe 1B doesn't make it Joe 1B sang over my head, cable car, by the fray. Chance was seen singing along during the performance, but the singer sadly didn't have any coaches turn for his blind audition. The coaches told the singer, 27, to come back in the future. Reba said that Joe Wan had a great voice, but she only has one spot on her team left so she wants to feel her next choice in her gut. John Legend is being robbed. John Legend said that he's looking for a soul singer on his team as the blind auditions continue. He said Chance has robbed him of a few contestants so far. Team Chance is complete Val is the 10th person to join Team Chance. Team Chance is the team to beat, per use, Chance said. The hard part is over. Now we're getting to the fun. Val brings her son to stage John Legend was the first to give Val, 43, feedback after her four-chair performance. Val, I'm so happy for you because I just see the joy on your face and a little relief, too, I think, John Legend said. It's very difficult doing this audition, but you just handled it with such poise and grace. Val brought up her son Joshua as the reason why she came on the show, and Legend told her he could come on stage. Joshua said he didn't get Val's musical genes, but he's clearly proud of his mom. Gospel singer gets all four coaches contestant Val T. Webb blew the coaches away with her cover of Nobody's Supposed to Be Here by Deborah Cox. Coach John Legend was the first to turn before being followed by the other three chairs. By the end of the performance, all of the coaches gave the gospel singer a standing ovation for her powerful blind audition. Meet the judges. Chance the Rapper. After his debut as a judge in season 23, Chance the Rapper returned to The Voice with a hunger to support budding talent. I wanted to be a coach on The Voice because I like giving platforms to young artists, 
especially people who are already seasoned in their trade and know what they're doing but just need the right spotlight. I wanted to be a part of the process, he told NBC Insider in 2023. The 30-year-old Chicago native released his debut mixtape 10 Day in 2012 and gained mainstream reception with his 2013 release, Acid Rap. As the recipient of three Grammy Awards, three Bet Awards, two Bet Hip Hop Awards, two iHeartRadio Music Awards, and a Soul Train Music Award. Chance has since risen to prominence and collaborated with Kanye West, Kendrick Lamar, Alicia Keys, etc. Philanthropy, mentorship, and activism remain at the forefront of his musical career. Meet the judges. Reba McIntyre Reba McIntyre, otherwise known as the Queen of Country, has over 100 singles on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart. The 68-year-old. Oklahoma native was also the star of the eponymous television series, Reba, which aired for six seasons. Performing from a young age with the help of her mother and siblings, she secured a country record deal in 1975 and relocated to Nashville, Tennessee, with her mother that same year. McIntyre once said on Watch What Happens Live that she'd never be a coach on The Voice. It was a very popular show in Holland, I'm pretty sure, and I watched the tape. And I said, no, I'm going to pass on that, because I don't think I could ever be able to tell somebody that they're terrible or go find another job or hope you like your nighttime job, she said. I couldn't do that day in and day out. The country music legend has since changed her tune. Meet the judges. John Legend John Legend began producing, writing, and recording music after college and released two albums independently. His self-titled demo, 2000 and live at Jimmy's Uptown, 2001. As the winner of 12 Grammy Awards with 31 behind him, he's had continued success and a slew of hit singles under his belt. Legend was the first artist to sign with Kanye West's Good Music and chose his stage name from an idea that was given to him by poet Jay Ivey after saying the up-and-coming artist sounded like a legend. Legend's been a vocal coach for The Voice from its 16th season to its 22nd season and again from its 24th season. He became senior coach after Blake Shelton's departure in 2023. Meet the judges. Dan plus Shea American country pop music duo Dan plus Shea first came onto the scene in 2013 when their debut single, 19 You Plus Me, was released to country radio. Composed of vocalists and songwriters Dan Smyers and Shea Mooney, the two met in Nashville, Tennessee in December 2012 at Smyers' house during a party. The two have since amassed millions of global career streams, 46 RIAA certifications, and nine number one country radio singles. They became the first artists to win the Grammy Award for Best Country Duo, Group Performance three times consecutively since the category's inception. Their history with The Voice began in 2018 when the duo was featured with Cheval Shepard. They made several guest appearances before it was announced they would become coaches on the show in June of 2023. Standout contestants' coverage snubbed the fifth night of The Voice's blind auditions ended on a low note for one contestant whose performance was cut off from airtime. Contestant Zia Ray's complete audition was not shown in its entirety on the NBC broadcast though a montage was included which revealed her landing a spot on Team Reba. Fans were still frustrated with her short-than-average airtime. Reba McIntyre was the only coach to turn her chair for Ray, which automatically put her on McIntyre's team. The 23-year-old singer-songwriter began posting covers of popular songs in 2014 and has since grown into a pop, soul and r and amp B artist. Mole Misses the Mark last night's episode brought major losses for Mole, a contestant who couldn't bring the coaches to turn their chairs during her blind audition. After performing Always Remember Us This Way, a song recorded by Lady Gaga for the film A Star Is Born, Mole was met with a slew of criticisms. Dan of Dan plus Shea cited problems with Mole's vocal pitch and said the song failed to evoke any emotion from him. John Legend also told her to pay closer attention to her vibrato. Meanwhile, Reba McIntyre affirmed Mole and encouraged her to return in the future. The New Orleans native spent years on tour as a background singer but must ultimately work on some things, according to the coaches, 
before advancing on a show like The Voice. Coaches split on support for A.J. Harvey A.J. Harvey is performing to pay homage to the artists who came before him. Describing an inspiration like Bob Dylan as, just a guy with a guitar, singing what's in his heart, Harvey did a rendition of, Girl from the North Country, for Monday night's episode of The Voice's Blind Auditions. The 25-year-old Oklahoma native saw chair turns from coaches Chance the Rapper and Dan plus Shea, but didn't get the same support from Reba McIntyre or John Legend. I know soul when I see it and that's what I feel like I related to in the performance, said Chance. I'm 100% a fan. If you didn't peep, I was the first person to turn around. Dan plus Shea and Chance proceeded to fight over the contestant, with Chance making a last-ditch effort to mentor the newcomer before Harvey inevitably chose the country duo. It's okay. I'll steal you later, Chance said. They'll put him in the right position for me to come scoop him later. Country hopeful Ryan Coleman sees mixed reviews. Pennsylvania native Ryan Coleman got a chair swivel from Dan plus Shea, but it wasn't exactly the voice's country chair he'd hoped for. In the final seconds of his blind audition, the country duo turned around and Mooney praised Coleman for his rendition of Bill Withers' Ain't No Sunshine. I'm so excited to get to work with you, brother, said Mooney. I can't wait to find out more about who you are and bring out a little bit more of that identity of your voice. It's just phenomenal. Coleman's identity is central to his music. As the survivor of a near-death car accident that left him bedridden for months, the budding country singer said music has been a major motivator. Smyers also loved the performance and said that though it's a tough space to perform in, his country tone came through. Emma Valentine gets cold shoulder from coaches Santa Cruz native Emma Valentine performed a rendition of Edison Lighthouse's Love Grows, Where My Rosemary Goes, but it didn't woo the coaches. While Reba McIntyre explained that she has a beautiful voice, the country legend claimed she was holding space for a certain type of artist. Meanwhile, Dan Smyers of Dan plus Shea complimented her vibrato, but thought some pitch issues were exposed. The 20-year-old writes original music and grew up pursuing musical theater from a young age. She was also an American Idol contestant on season 18. Blind auditions are back for the final night. Blind auditions are returning to The Voice tonight as the competition to fill teams comes to a close. Viewers can tune in tonight, March 12th at 8 p.m. Eastern on NBC to watch the high-stakes end round. But don't fret if you can't catch it. The episode will be available on Peacock the next day. Blind audition decisions are based solely on voice and not looks. This means that coaches can hear artists perform but they don't get to see them, thanks to rotating chairs. An artist is alerted that they're liked when a coach pushes a button to select the performer for their team. Elisha Jefferson left hanging by one coach last night belonging to Team Reba. 20-year-old Baltimore native Elisha Jefferson stunned judges when she performed Michael Jackson's PYT, Pretty Young Thing, during The Voice's blind audition Monday night. All but one judge turned their chair. John Legend listened quietly until the end of the song, then ended up regretting it. Legend later admitted that he considered turning his chair, but it felt too late after three other coaches already had. This came after Jefferson cited Legend and Reba McIntyre as key inspirations and people she'd love to work with. Jefferson travels and performs extensively with her family's band and sings on TikTok under at Elisha.sings. Underdog Serenity Arce earns four-chair turn Serenity Acre of Team Chance earned a four-chair turn last night, knocking the socks off the coaches in her rendition of This City by Sam Fisher. Though Legend used his block button on Dan plus Shea. It's rude and I think it's mean, but I take it as a compliment, Shea Mooney of the country pop duo said in response. The 16-year-old underdog is a returning contestant who auditioned for The Voice at just 14 years old. Your voice is so powerful and crisp and sounds like it can be on the radio immediately cause it has that ability to cut through the music, Legend told Arce. I would love to be your coach. Val T. Webb's upcoming four-chair turn tonight an exclusive clip shared with Today.com ahead of tonight's March 12th episode revealed the voice contestant Val T. Webb's rendition of Nobody's Supposed to Be Here by Deborah Cox. 
all four coaching teams stood up for Webb during the singing competition's blind auditions. John Legend was the first chair to turn and asked Webb if she sang in church. Webb revealed she was a worship director for many, many years, and that she's also a background singer for professional artists. Gesturing to her son Joshua in the audience, she prompted Legend to let her bring him on stage. He's the reason why I'm actually here, she said as he stood by her side. Ronnie Wilson's soulful rendition turns chairs Ronnie Wilson's Monday night performance of Zayn Malik's Pillow Talk captivated coaches in a blind audition that revealed control, range, and emotion. Reba McIntyre and John Legend's chairs turned while Dan plus Shay and Chance the Rapper kept still, but enjoyed the performance nonetheless. The 28-year-old hails from South Carolina but currently lives in Atlanta where his gospel and country music influences have blossomed. McIntyre, who spent 50 years in the country scene, told Wilson he has a quality in his voice that just makes a person feel good. You're absolutely wonderful, she remarked following his performance, though it was team legend he went with at the end of the night. Zoe Levert is serenaded to tears and gets a last-minute chair turn from coach John Legend. Zoe Levert impressed John Legend once again when she got a chair turn from her coach on Monday's episode of The Voice. She was also praised by Dan plus Shay who loved last night's song selection. The first single from Little Big Town's eighth album, The Breaker, which Taylor Swift left off from her 2012 Red album. Levert came out as a huge fan of the duo and casually revealed she and her fiancé's planned first dance song as the duo's 2016 single, From the Ground Up. Dan plus Shay took to the stage to serenade Levert and her fiancé who slow danced and were moved to tears. Even Chance the rapper said he was about to cry at the unexpected tender exchange. Coaches cry as contestant serenades with Kenny Loggins' lullaby J.J. Higgins didn't get any chair turns, but his blind audition moved the coaches to tears on last night's episode of The Voice. Higgins sang Return to Pooh Corner. The title track of Kenny Loggins' 1994 children's album which jerked the audience to tears, especially when they heard his family's story. Return to Pooh Corner was the song he sang to his pregnant wife during her 30-week bedrest before giving birth to their now 12-year-old son. To this day, when he's not feeling good, he'll go, Hey Dad, can you sing that song? Higgins said. Logan's song also represents family and hope for Higgins who lost his first son at a month old after a long neonatal intensive care unit, NICU, stay. The voice contestant tragedies over the years. Concluded Nolan Neal competed on The Voice in 2016, with Adam Levine as his coach. He was eventually eliminated from the reality singing competition. Nolan went on to compete on America's Got Talent in 2020 but was eliminated in the judges' choice section of the quarterfinals. His death was determined to be caused by acute combined drug toxicity and ruled as an accident. The voice contestant tragedies over the years. Part 4 Janice Freeman competed on Miley Cyrus' team in season 13, finishing in 11th place. She died from a blood clot that reached her heart while battling pneumonia in March 2019. Miley Cyrus said she would support the late singer's husband and daughter. The voice contestant tragedies over the years. Part 3 Christina Grimmie reached third place in season 6 of the competition with Adam Levine as her coach. The young star kicked off her career before competing on The Voice, releasing hit songs that reached the top 10 charts on iTunes four times. The 22-year-old was murdered after performing at a concert in June 2016 when a gunman fatally shot her. Since her tragic death, her family has slowly released her music posthumously. The voice contestant tragedies over the years. Continued Anthony Riley competed on Pharrell Williams's team during season 8 of The Voice. He left the competition after winning his battle round, citing personal health reasons. He tragically died of suicide in June 2015. If you or someone you know is affected by any of the issues raised in this story, call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 800-273-TALK, 8255, chat on 988lifeline.org, or text Crisis Text Line at 741741.
The Voice contestant tragedies over the years the third place winner of season one, Beverly McClellan, competed on Christina Aguilera's team and made it to the finale. She was diagnosed with endometrial cancer in 2018 and tragically died that same year. Beverly started singing when she was 24 years old and recorded five independent albums before auditioning for The Voice. Tune in tonight. Tune in tonight for the last episode of The Blind Auditions. John Legend, Dan plus Shay, and Chance the Rapper have just one spot left on their teams. Reba McIntyre has two spots available. Once the teams are secured, the top 40 will be heading to the battle rounds next week. The contestants will be cut in half as coaches are tasked with pitting their teammates against one another in the battles. Contestants who made it through last night The following contestants made it through and picked their teams last night. Ronnie Wilson. Team legend Zoe Levert. Team legend Ducote Talmadge. Team Dan plus Shea Serenity Arce. Team Chance Ryan Coleman. Team Dan plus Shea AJ Harvey. Team Dan plus Shea Elisha Jefferson. Team Reba Meek Team Reba Reba McIntyre is coming in hot this season with the following performers on her team. T.A.E. Lewis Josh Sanders Donnie Van Slee Ashley Bryant Asher Havon William Alexander Alyssa Crosby Elisha Jefferson Reba has space for two more performers on her team. Meek Team Legend Coaching Veteran John Legend is working with the following performers this season. Oklahoma 3 Nathan Chester Jean Taylor Brian Oleson Jackie Romeo Rivers Grayson Maffei Ronnie Wilson Zoe Levert John still has just one spot left on his team. Meet Team Dan plus Shea The singers secured on Team Dan plus Shea are Justin and Jeremy Garcia Ryan Argus Karen Waldrop Used block against Reba Frank Garcia Madison Curbelo Anya True Ducote Talmadge Ryan Coleman AJ Harvey The duo has one spot left on their team. Meet Team Chance The rapper Chance has almost filled up his team with the following contestants choosing him as their coach. Donnie Stacy. Used block against Reba Nadij Maddie Jane Gabriel goes Kamale Kawa Corey Curtis Roletto Bree Fletcher Serenity Arce He has one spot left that he'll have to fill tonight. Meet last season's winner. Michael Huntley Michael Huntley. From Virginia. Was crowned the winner of the latest season after earning a four-chair turn during his blind audition. I would say I'm singer-songwriter country. Definitely southern blues rock and roll. All my favorite types of music. A little bit of Joe Cocker. A little bit of John Mayer. A little bit of Bob Marley. He said of his musical style. Michael, who goes just by Huntley on stage, is a booking agent and musician who played gigs full-time across Virginia before his win. He won the voice with his coach, Niall Horan. Huntley released his debut single, Holdin' On, in April 2022. Seasons 3 and Amp. Four winners. Danielle Bradbury and Amp. Cassidy Pope Danielle Bradbury is a country pop singer and another Team Blake winner. The 25-year-old comes from Houston, Texas. Cassidy Pope, a member of Team Blake, was the lead singer of the rock band, Hey Monday before the band went on an indefinite hiatus in 2011. She became the first female winner of The Voice and released her debut country solo album in 2013. Seasons 5 in Amp. 6 Winners Josh Kaufman and Tessan Chin Team Usher winner Josh Kaufman is a Florida native who sings soul. Before he worked with Usher, he started out as a member of Team Adam. One of Adam Levine's team members. Tessan Chin is a Jamaican-born singer who won The Voice Season 5. She has opened for artists such as Patti LaBelle, Peebo Bryson, and Gladys Knight. Season 7 and Amp. 8 Winners. Craig Wayne Boyd and Sawyer Fredericks Another win for Team Blake. Craig Wayne Boyd is a country singer. At the age of 42, Boyd is based out of Nashville. Sawyer Fredericks won Season 8 of The Voice when she was 22 years old, with the help of Pharrell Williams. He released his debut EP in 2015 which reached number two on the Billboard Folk Chart. Seasons 9 and Amp. 10 winners. Jordan Smith and Allison Porter Contemporary Christian singer Jordan Smith was a member of Team Adam when he won The Voice. The 28-year-old previously reached number one on the iTunes Store with his music. A member of Team Christina, Allison Porter sings pop, rock, and country. 
The musician is also an actress and a dancer. Seasons 11 and Amp. 12 winners. Sundance Head and Chris Blue a member of Alicia Keys' team. Chris Blue is a soul singer. The son of Roy Head. Jason is no stranger to the music industry. He's a country soul singer, songwriter from Texas. Jason, Sundance, Head was a member of Team Blake when he won The Voice. He won The Voice at the age of 27. Seasons 15 and Amp. 16 winners. Shevel Shepard and Malin Yarman Shevel Shepard won The Voices season 15 when she was 19 years old as a member of Team Kelly. The musician became the first member of the show to win as a country singer who Blake didn't coach. American folk singer, Malin Yarman, was a member of John Legend's team when she won The Voice. Born in Texas, Malin lived in New York City before her time on The Voice. Season 17 and Amp. 18 winners. Jake Hoot and Todd Tillman country singer Jake Hoot was a member of Kelly Clarkson's team when he won The Voice at 31 years old. A Texas native, Hoot relocated to live in Tennessee. Another team Blake winner. Todd Tillman was the oldest contestant to win The Voice at the age of 42. He is considered an American pastor singer. Seasons 19 and Amp. 20 winners. Carter Rubin and Cam Anthony the first winner from team Gwen Stefani was 16-year-old Carter Rubin. He was the second youngest winner of The Voice ever, and the youngest male. After going viral on YouTube as a preteen, Cam Anthony won season 20 of The Voice alongside his coach, Blake Shelton. The 20-year-old was born and raised in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and was an internet sensation by the time he was 11. Season 21 winner. Girl Named Tom The band that calls itself Girl Named Tom as comprised of three siblings, Caleb, 26, Joshua, 24, and Becca Leachty, 20. They are originally from South Bend, Indiana, and created their band's name as a reference to Caleb and Joshua's desire to have a little brother. Instead, Becca was born, and as children, the boys called her Thomas while she was a baby. Girl Named Tom was on Kelly Clarkson's team and following the season 21 finale. The group has announced they are joining Pentatonix on their tour, A Christmas Spectacular. The tour is set to kick off on November 17, 2022, in Oakland, California. Season 22 winner. Bryce Leatherwood Bryce Leatherwood was crowned the champion of Season 22 on The Voice. During the competition, he competed with team coach, Blake Shelton. Leatherwood is a Woodstock native who grew up singing and playing the ukulele in middle school. Since winning the competition, Leatherwood has traveled around multiple Old Red locations to perform country music. He signed with Republic Records and is now focused on moving to Nashville where he plans to continue his music career. Season 23 winner. Gina Miles singer Gina Miles was deemed the best after she nabbed the Season 23 winner title on The Voice. Originally from Paxton, Illinois, she moved to Sacramento shortly before auditioning for the TV series. During the blind auditions, Gina impressed judges Kelly Clarkson and Niall Horan with her rendition of Katy Perry's The One That Got Away. She ended up joining Niall's team, which led to her success on the show. Dan plus Shay's hiatus. Continued by March 2022, Dan and Shay were back together after they did not speak for four months. That night kind of changed everything because we aired a lot of stuff out, Dan said at the time in an interview with Entertainment Tonight. I apologized for things in the past, and he did the same. We had this come to Jesus moment. Dan plus Shay's hiatus Dan plus Shay separated professionally in 2021 after finishing up an arena tour. Dan claimed in an interview with Entertainment Tonight that they took time apart because performing as a duo was tough. I think life just happens, he said at the time. We've been doing this for 10 years, and being in a duo is the toughest configuration of being an artist, the country star added. Get to know the new coaches Dan plus Shay hit the country music scene in 2012. Over the last decade plus, the power duo has amassed over 10 billion global streams via tequila, speechless, and from the ground up. They also appeared as battle advisors with Blake Shelton on The Voice in 2020. Tune in tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow night at 9 p.m. for a brand new episode of The Voice.
The last few blind auditions will take place as only five spots remain. One spot left the coaches only have one spot left going into tomorrow's last blind auditions. They'll have to be extra picky with the final hopefuls. She's a PYT. Elisja is a pretty young thing and is wowing the judges with her rendition of Michael Jackson's hit. Dan plus Shay, Reba, and Chance were quickly convinced to turn around for her. John was the only coach not to put his hat in the ring for Elisja. Meet Elisja Jefferson Elisja is in a family band with her dad and four of her uncles. Their name is Sound Connection, and they travel the world performing for events. She's hoping to convince John Legend to turn around for her, but would also love to work with Reba. Mole is going home Mole didn't manage to convince a coach to turn around during her blind audition. Dan pointed out her pitch issues and Shay said the song didn't move him. Reba said she loved the performance and urged Mole to come back. John told Mole to watch her vibrato and said she was so close to getting a chair turn. Meet Mole. Mole is a performer and kickboxer. She's a firecracker and has wanted to be on stage since she was a little girl. After graduating high school in New Orleans she toured as a background singer before moving to Los Angeles. She's ready to finally be the frontman and is hoping the voice will be the avenue to her dreams Mole is singing Always Remember Us This Way, originally recorded by Lady Gaga for the Star is Born soundtrack AJ's in. Chance was the first to turn for AJ, but Dan plus Shay came soon after. The two will have to battle it out for AJ. There were a few words I didn't understand, Reba noted, critiquing Ajay's enunciation. John said he didn't turn because he just didn't connect with the song. You got what it takes to do really really well on this show, Dan told AJ. I know music. I know soul when I see it. Chance pleaded as he hit an alarm that sounded, pick Chance. Meet AJ Harvey. AJ Harvey is from Wichita, Kansas and is excited to showcase his Native American heritage on The Voice. Ajay's father was a musician and his biggest inspiration is Blue Grass. He's in a band called Biscuits and Groovy and plays a residency at a local bar with the group. Ajay is singing Girl from the North Country by Bob Dylan. Fans aren't happy with show cuts Fans are not happy with how producers decided to cut the show, eliminating Zia's full audition from the broadcast. Zia Ray is on Team Reba Zia Ray's full audition didn't air fully. However, a montage revealed she was placed on Team Reba. Reba was the only coach to turn for Zia so she automatically joined her team. Meet Ryan Coleman Ryan is a farmer and a musician. He was performing often until a car crash put him in the hospital for months. The accident put his life on hold, but now he's back and better than ever. Ryan said his top coach is Reba. Not Emma's time Emma didn't get on The Voice this season, but the judges loved her performance nonetheless. Your range is great. I'm just looking for a certain type to fill my team, Reba told her. Dan complimented her vibrato but pointed out some pitch issues. He said in a confessional that Emma has potential, but needs to work on her vocals. Meet Emma Valentine Emma loves music, surfing, and spending time with her family. She's hoping to challenge herself by leaving Santa Cruz, California for the voice stage. Emma is auditioning with Love Grows, Where Rosemary Goes, by Edison Lighthouse. Fans love Serenity's comeback after failing to make the voice in season 21. Serenity came back with a bang and earned a four-chair turn. Meet Serenity Arce Serenity is coming back to the voice for a redemption performance. She auditioned for season 21 at 14 years old but didn't get a turn. Serenity is singing This City by Sam Fisher for her blind audition. Looks like all she needed was a few years to practice because she earned a four-chair turn. Fans react to JJ's performance even though JJ didn't get on The Voice. Fans were touched by him and his story. Not JJ's time JJ didn't get on The Voice this time, but he was able to perform a sentimental song for the coaches. Just the experience of telling my story. That was all I needed, JJ told the coaches. He invited his son on stage and the two embraced in an emotional moment. Shay teared up after seeing JJ hug his son. I'm gonna cry, Chance said. It's a performance we'll never forget, Reba said in a confessional. 
Meet J.J. Higgins J.J. Higgins is 46 years old. He lives in Nashville and is married to his childhood sweetheart, Mia. They met when they were 12 and 15 years old and broke up before finding their way back to one another later in life. Mia and J.J. lost their son soon after he was born, but were able to conceive their son Jace. J.J. called Jace their miracle child. J.J. put his music career on hold to be a dad to J.J., but is ready to pursue his dreams. He's singing Return to Pooh Corner by Kenny Loggins. Dan plus Shay and John are in. Dan plus Shay and John have both turned their chairs for Ducote. John only has one spot left on his team, but Ducote may be more inclined to pick fellow country artists as his coach. John said he had such a cool tone and promised that he'd be a great coach for Ducote. It's not the traditional choice. It's not the obvious choice. John pleaded as Shay cut in. It's not the right choice. You don't know anything about country. Shay slammed John. Meet Ducote Talmadge Ducote is surrounded by music, family, and the outdoors. He followed in his brother's footsteps by becoming a firefighter. Ducote's had plenty of practice singing with his brothers in his living room. He's singing a Morgan Wallen song tonight. Fans are loving Sweet Moment fans are loving Dan plus Shay's song to Zoe and her fiancé. Only on The Voice, John joked that even though it was abundantly clear that Zoe wanted to be on Dan plus Shay's team, he's happy that she's on her team. Chance agreed that John was the perfect coach for Zoe so that he can help her work on her breath control. She had some issues hitting her lower register, but John is here to help. Even though she didn't end up on Dan plus Shay's team, the duo sang her wedding song for her and her fiancé Liv, a moment that John said, happens, only on The Voice. Meet Zoe Levert Zoe is a student and is studying psychology in school. She's only 20 years old but is ready to pursue her dream of music. She met the love of her life in college and is engaged. The two are dancing to a Dan plus Shay song at their wedding. Zoe is a die-hard Swiftie and is singing one of Taylor's songs, Better Man, for her blind audition. Block Madness Chance used his block on Reba while Dan plus Shay and Reba used their blocks on each other. John is the only coach left who still has a block to use. Keep your eyes over here. When Ronnie said he loved country music, John urged him to keep your eyes over here. John told Ronnie that he also used to work with numbers and was a consultant before becoming a star. Reba said she wanted to embellish Ronnie's talent because she doesn't want to change a thing. Ronnie takes on Zayn Ronnie as singing Zayn Malik's hit, Pillow Talk. John Legend was immediately impressed and turned his chair first for Ronnie. Reba wasn't far behind, but John seemed entranced by Ronnie's vocals. Meet Ronnie Wilson Ronnie Wilson is a multifaceted person, embracing his daytime job as an accountant and his love of music. He says he walks the line between masculinity and femininity and is excited to be a picture of representation on The Voice. Ronnie is ready to put it all on the stage and hopefully change his life. Put a little love in your heart The coaches are opening the show with a special group performance. Although they're competing with one another, the five coaches are joining forces on stage to sing a rendition of Put a Little Love in Your Heart, originally recorded by Annie Lennox and Al Green. Chance the rapper opened the show and Reba McIntyre quickly swooped in with her classic country vocals. John Legend and Dan plus Shay joined their fellow coaches alongside a full choir and band. Last week of blinds starting soon. The coaches have to fill up their teams this week before the battle rounds begin. Reba McIntyre posted a behind-the-scenes clip ahead of tonight's episode revealing her singing her hit song, Why Haven't I Heard From You with the audience. Prior to taking the stage, she joked on camera that she was always in the way, before telling producers that the show was getting good. She added that she stopped being protective over her Nashville family. Dan plus Shay and praised the coaching duo for getting their feet wet. Meet Team Reba Reba McIntyre is coming in hot this season with the following performers on her team. T.A.E. Lewis Josh Sanders Donnie Van Slee Ashley Bryant Asher Havon William Alexander Alyssa Crosby Reba also has three spots left to fill. 
Meet Team Legend coaching veteran John Legend is working with the following performers this season. Oklahoma 3. Nathan Chester Gene Taylor Brian Oleson Jackie Romeo Rivers Grayson Maffei John still has three spots left on his team. Meet Team Dan plus Shea The singers secured on Team Dan plus Shea are Justin and Jeremy Garcia Ryan Argust Karen Waldrop Used block against Reba Frank Garcia Madison Curbelo Anya True The coaching duo still has six spots left on their team Meet Team Chance The rapper Chance is filling up his team fast with the following contestants choosing him as their coach. Donnie Stacy. Used block against Reba Nadij Maddie Jane Gabriel goes Kamale Kawa Corey Curtis Roletto Bree Fletcher Chance has two spots left on his team. Week 2 Auditions. Continued the following contestants made it on a coach's team during night 4 of the blind auditions. Anya True. Team Dan plus Shea William Alexander. Team Reba Alyssa Crosby. Team Reba Roletto. Team Chance Bree Fletcher. Team Chance Maffe. Team Legend Week 2 Auditions. The following contestants made it on a coach's team during night 3 of the blind auditions. Brian Oleson. Team Legend Frank Garcia. Team Dan plus Shea Kamale Kawa. Team Chance Ashley Bryant. Team Reba Asher Havon. Team Reba Jackie Romeo. Team Legend Rivers Grayson. Team Legend Corey Curtis. Team Chance Madison Curbelo. Team Dan plus Shea Week 1 Auditions. Continued the following contestants made it on a coach's team during night two of the blind auditions. OK3 Team Legend Nathan Chester. Team Legend Maddie Jane. Team Chance Donnie Van Slee. Team Reba Karen Waldrop. Team Dan plus Shea Gabriel Goes. Team Chance Jean Taylor. Team Legend Week 1 Auditions The following contestants made it on a coach's team during night one of the blind auditions. Donnie Stacy. Team Chance Justin and Jeremy Garcia. Team Dan plus Shea T.A.E. Lewis. Team Reba Ryan Argust. Team Dan plus Shea Nadage. Team Chance Josh Sanders. Team Reba The Voice is brand new tonight. The Voice is all new tonight with another round of blind auditions. The show is entering the third of auditions as each coach scrambles to fill up their team before the battles.